All right, welcome back in. So, uh, there's been an update to Starfield. We finally get to decorate the interior of our ships. Oh my god, I'm so happy. So, I'm going to give you a little bit before. This is the first ship I'm trying. This is the Frontier 2.0 that I had created. You know, they've been out a little while. They trust you now. I did a video about this. So if I can find it, I'll link down in the description. Uh, I'm going to show you the interior first because I want you to see what this looks like as is the as close as I could get it to what the Frontier was going to be as a logical upgrade and then oh god I should have turned them all off um, and then why do you guys all have to be in my way serious get out of my way I see they haven't fixed that at all so, uh, standard fare. I think I did a fairly good job with the upgrade. Uh, it looks nice. It's functional. You got decent amount of beds, plenty of galley space, uh, plenty of work space. They can do the things they need to do. Stand in your way, like always. Some empty volume up here that I never liked. But I guess we're going to get to change that. And then the cockpit. So nothing fancy. Uh, I'll be back with you in a moment after I have gone and probably spent a couple hours playing with the uh, upgrade system. And I'll see what I can come up with. Be right back. All right. We're back. And this is the completed, I'm putting that in air quotes, uh, of the interior decoration. I'm going to show you how to do this because there's no indication. It took me a while to figure this out. So they are special modules called empty. It's the exact same thing, but empty. So I had a control station there. Now it's empty. I had an all-in-one berth there. Now it's empty. So you essentially just go to your Habs, find Stroud, for example, two by one. So you're going to see there's a huge long list and you're going to go through and, oh man, there's all kinds of stuff. And then you get towards the end, and you're going to find Stroud Armory empty. All in one empty A, all in one empty B, etc. and so forth. And it goes through all the things. So you place the empty one on your ship first. Then, let's go take a look at the ship. I'm going to show you how to actually do the decoration, because it took me forever to figure this out too. Turn your crew off. Just nuke them. Get rid of them. Put them all on your outpost. Do whatever you can. They get in your way constantly while you're trying to build. It's, it's awful. Uh, Bethesda has not fixed. Get out of my way. They have not fixed the AI in any way. Uh, so, you're going to go on to your cockpit. Your cockpit's going to have this new panel on it called Decorate. Uh, you're going to hit E. And then when you hit E a whole lot of things come up like there's 35 different chairs as an example q and t if you look down uh will change through all the different things and blah 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 and here's the important part you need all the stuff so you're gonna have to have all the materials on you or in your ship's cargo hold it is not good enough that you are at your outpost and they're all in your outpost at least this is beta test, understand this. As of this moment, it has to be on your person or in your ship in order to be able to do this. Because I am at my outpost and it doesn't count. All I have thousands of materials at my outpost and it does not count. It has to be on your person uh, or ship, excuse me. So, all kinds of choices. So you've got, let's go through these here. Z and C, all right. So you start with your benches. You got all the different benches you can put on here. You've got all, all kinds of furniture. I'm not going to go crazy into this because it's the same thing as the outpost. In fact, all the jank, all the problems you have with the outpost, all the frustrations you have with the outpost, now they're in your ship because all they did is make your ship a small outpost, essentially, minus the material mining and all that stuff. So all the problems with setting this down and trying to get it lined up because the way that the it, it's it oh my god it won't snap and it won't go straight to the line i i just i oh my god that's it's so so annoying and it's all the same everything that was in the outpost is now here available 
uh, and with all the same frustrations. So let's go back to, we're going to go to decorations. Uh, we've got a variety of these. There are some new storage boxes that I had not seen at the outpost. It's possible because I'm on beta, I have access to every everything, whereas on live, on my outpost, I haven't unlocked certain things. Uh, I haven't done New new Game Plus on that, that build, the one I do all my videos on, so that's possible. But there's just, like, numbers. I don't have numbers on my outpost. I don't know where those came from, but maybe that's just new added here. Uh, and the weight bench is huge. It doesn't really fit very well unless you got a big ship. Um, all kinds of things here. Go down... You can always pause it and just look at the various things. I'm not going to go through every single one of these. It's just way too much stuff. It is cool that there's some ships to put. Of course, you need a big old table or something to sit them on, but that's pretty cool. Then we go to displays. Uh, the displays work, so you can put down a data slate and actually put something on it. Unfortunately, you cannot read it from there. You have to actually grab it and then read it from your cargo. Uh... Weapon racks work. I haven't actually tried the backpacks stand, but I can't imagine they wouldn't. And self-service bounty clearance, which is pretty cool. You just can't do the mission board. So that's how you place them. Hit tab again is how you move things. Move or delete. Oh, I didn't like that, except there are some problems. Oh, now it's going to let me move it? It was stuck and wouldn't let me move it earlier. Well, now that it is, I'm going to move it because I don't like where it is. Eh. And this is another problem. It's all kind of jank how this is in here. And it doesn't like certain spots just because... There we go. Now it's at a nice little angle in the corner. Fine. So, but that's how you would move things. That's how you would delete things. You can see all the items I placed. like that right there if an NPC is f using it you can't do anything with it and let me tell you they will stand right in your way you keep having to push 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 to move them out of the way my god just get rid of your NPCs where you're doing it so now let's take a little tour of what I did and what you can do so starting in the cockpit you can place things in your cockpit now your cockpit I didn't see blank versions of them I'll have to look a little bit further. It only seems to be HAB units. But I was able to place things. I even changed ships, changed ships back, and all the things are still here. So I added a safe. I added massive amounts of storage. There's 40 there. I've got a uh, data pad sitting right there. Pretty neat. I've got supposedly a contraband cache for 150. Um, okay. Hadn't seen that before, but cool. You got your bounty clearance. I built this whole thing. They do sit here. Uh, I don't believe that this counts any differently because it's the unit itself that counts as four for your uh, crew. Obviously, stuff like research lab all works. Um, there is one that I'm having a problem with, and it's this one. Nope, it works now. Of course it works now. Uh, earlier I was having a problem that it was saying it was in use, but there was nobody here. So, yeah. Now, this is actually a cart, and and so is this one. So, they're not actually functional. It'd be cool if we could st store tools in there, but we cannot. So, weapons rack, they work. I've got weapons in this one right here. Uh, the ammo cases all work. Uh, even this bigger one, they're still all 10. So, but, but, hey man, you store some ammo in there. Big storage crate, I got a bunch of these, they're all 150, even the different sizes. You got this one, you get that one. Military crate, industrial crate, they're all 150s. Right, good to see you. Then we come back in here to the, the living quarters, this is living quarters A. Pretty nice rug, it's got some really nice artwork. Oop, might have to go back to the front to show you. But it has some really nice artwork. The problem is, all of the dishes and all the stuff we have in here, I don't know if anybody's ever tried to decorate. You hold E, it picks it up. You can right mouse, left mouse to get it to turn, but I've never been able to figure out how to turn it upright. Let's see, home end. Nope, that doesn't do anything. 
And so, and then you just hit E to drop it. Oh, of course. Why is it got to be when it, when I'm doing the video it works, but when I'm trying to set up the video it doesn't work? So we got a bear thing over there. That's a little bit of spoiler if those didn't know about it. Uh, so uh, you could actually decorate because I have tons and tons and tons of stuff in. You know, I got all kinds of these things that I, that every time you change your ship, you know, it just throws everything in your cargo hold. Um, I got all kinds of stuff that I could decorate with, but you got to take them out one by one, drop them on the floor, pick them up, place them down manually. Now, nice day, huh? some of the things I did place this right here and that succulent did stay. They stayed exactly where they are and they didn't sink down into the table like they do in the outpost. Don't quote me on that. I don't know how long that's going to last because all of those items, no, whether you put them on a table or uh, like a countertop, they sink down into them in the outpost. I don't know. Also, something weird about this. Now, she's sleeping on there now, but I had to place the sleeping bag. So if you see there's a mattress up here, there's supposed to be a mattress there and on this bottom one. But when I spawned in the empty unit, it didn't have any. Now, there's also an option for a futon, which would look better, futon mattress, but it doesn't fit. So I had to put those sleeping bags up there, which honestly, that's fine. It works fine. I did forget to try to put a weapon up there because I thought it would be neat. Now, let's try right now. So for my inventory, let's put, well, I don't know why I even have that. So there you go. There, now they got a little weapon sitting over their bed. I don't know what you said, Sarah. So, and I've got a lot of like little bitty storage here and there. There's a 10 right there. This is a 10 or a 40. It's a 10. Getting things on these shelves is a nightmare. It It's so, so bad. Uh, I did it with these. I'll show you in just a minute. I'll pull up the builder again. It's, it's horrible. And so what are we supposed to do with that? You're just stuck with these shelves blank like that because I cool I mean all right so I did a nice little seating area back here they do all sit there I did screw some things up that is backwards and I really wish Bethesda would give us an arrow to point which is forwards oh well, that one's backwards too perfect and this one's backwards so when she sits she they're sitting through this but I put up a nice little barrier to uh, give some privacy to the head and if they are back here changing after their shower uh, I thought that was nice uh, for, you know, having so many people here. And a diagnostics table that we can't actually use. So, yeah, it turned out all right. I, I'm not fantastic at the interior decorating yeah, here in Starfield. Um, I'm much guy. more of a builder type than I am uh, decorated all out. And, man, these things, they snap together. But getting them, you know, perf like this, perfect to the... To the vertical and horizontal on it is just yeah it's horrible so let me show you something here so these things if I want to put an ammo box up we go in we find the ammo boxes this one uh, I don't think it's that one I think it's the storage box There it is. So, you would think, okay, well, I'm just going to stick it up there. First off, every time you put a new one up, it changes the angle. So, it doesn't stay reasonably straight like you would expect. And so, as I'm trying to put this up here, you can see... So, this top shelf works okay, but you can see the problems. Like, it's... Like, what's overlapping? What am I overlapping? And then... I, I, it's just, it's so weird. And then trying to get it on the second one, it's it, an absolute nightmare. Like this one, how is it sticking out over, but on the top one, I couldn't stick it out over. And then trying to get it, I would have to do it without that, that station there, I think. Like, I can't e I can get it to f hover. God, it's such a pain. Can I go in this corner? I think I saw it for a minute. You can do it for me. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so I can get it to go. And that's another thing. 
you can get some of the, some things to actually bleed into the wall and actually go through the wall a little bit and still work, whereas other things like benches can't even get near the wall. Like they can't even get near a curve in the wall. So it's super jank. But that said, as super jank as it is, we now have the option for it. And I'm not going to go too hard on Bethesda because they are giving us the option to do what we've been asking them to do for eight months. So take it for what it is, I guess. Thanks for watching, everybody.